Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through the Lake of Rot. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen, and I did quite a bit. First and foremost, I farmed up a ton of ruins, an absolute ton. It took me about a day and a half to get as many ruins as I have. I do not recommend it, but if you do, good luck. I also went ahead and equipped some new armor just so we could have some immunity to be able to run through the Lake of Rot. We're going to be dealing with a lot of Scarlet Rot today, so try to put on anything that you have that has high immunity. Number one, I do recommend people putting on the incantation scarab. And the reason why is because it will allow you to cast incantation incantations and use less FP, but it also has a high immunity uh, resistance as well. Anything else you can put on whatever you want or whatever you have that's gonna have high immunity to it. I also went ahead and put on the Molted Necklace plus one. That's going to greatly raise our immunity and focus. Also robustness, but immunity is what we're really looking for. I also put on the Immunizing Horn Charm. That also raises our immunity. And then I went ahead and put on some Preserving Boluses. Just in case we run out of FP or something and we don't have another Cerulean Flask to drink, we can use one of those to cure the Scarlet Rot. All right, now that that's all said, let's go ahead and level up. We're gonna put this up to 39, our Vigor, and then our Endurance is gonna be up to 39. Also, a little side note, we are not gaining very much stamina for putting uh, any points into our Endurance. The only reason I'm putting anything into my endurance is so I can have max equip load. If you're not worried about wearing heavier armors or anything like that, I wouldn't put any more into your endurance. 30, 35 should be good. It's going to give you plenty of stamina and you can put on whatever you want as long as it's not too heavy. Other than that, just keep pumping up the stats that you're mainly working on, whether it's strength, dex, or Strength Index, Intelligence, Faith, Arcane, whatever your class you're going for. Or Build. Sorry, not Class. Build. Okay, so we got 39 across the board. Let's start making our way down here. First things first, we're going to be heading off to the west. We're going to one-hand our weapon so that we can use our Flames Cleanse Me. First, we're going to jump up here. We're going to hop on this switch and it's going to raise up some platforms for us. This will come in handy a little later. Right now, we're just trying to raise all this stuff up. Go ahead and use flames. Cleanse me. I see that there is an item over there, but first we want to run over to this island that is just west. Man, words today, am I right? Get a somber smithing stone seven. Just keep casting that as you need it. And then we're going to head south to southeast. Mostly south. We're coming over here to this obelisk or pillar, whatever you want to call it. We're going to hop on this switch. It's going to raise up another platform or two. Be careful of the basilisks. They will hop out of the water or, well, the scarlet rot. Just run right by them. 
now we're heading south to this obelisk. We're going to be raising up some more platforms. This is for the walkway up top here. We're going to be going up there in just a moment. And then south, southwest to this next pillar. I tried to put markers down on my practice run, but they seem to be just bunching up whenever I'm in a smaller contained area. So I just have been trying my best to navigate through this and show everybody where they need to go. So hopefully that's not aggravating anybody. If it is, I apologize. I'll try to do better. Okay, we want to buff up. We're going to be fighting an Alabaster Lord. They're really not that hard. Especially when you have the Blood Flame Blade on. And he is always going to drop us the Alabaster Lord Sword. We're going to come over here. Pick ourselves up a Somber Smithing Stone 9. We now can level up our Bloodhound's Fang to plus 9. And we only need one more Sombering Smithing Stone to fully level it up. We are getting beefy, everybody. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the Lake of Rot Shoreside. Now, instead of heading west, we're going to be heading east. So you want to face almost directly east. Put back on the flame, cleanse me, and then run straight ahead. Straight east. All this stuff is easy. It's just getting through the Lake of Rot. That is the annoying part. Be careful for the basilisk. Just keep running. If you want to kill it, you can. I'm not going to bother with that kind of stuff. Now we're heading south. Some more basilisks. As you can tell, when we get Scarlet Rot, that just tanks down our HP. Ooh, just made it. Right here, stepping on this one is going to bring up some big platforms for us to be fighting the boss a little later. After we're done running through all this fun Scarlet Rot. Keep running. And right here, grab ourselves a somber smithing stone eight. We're going to hop just up here and then we're going to run and jump across, run and jump across. And right here, we're going to be very careful to hop on this pillar and get ourselves the mushroom crown. Now you can put this on and it's going to give you more immunity so that we can run through the scarlet rot. But I prefer using the incantation scarab. So if you want to put that on, feel free. I'm going to keep the scarab on my head, at least for now. We're just going to keep on moving. Now we're going to head southwest. 
When we come out of there, just take a left and head southwest. Southwest, west. That basilisk is probably still chasing us. We're going to take out this silver scarab. Get ourselves a somber smithing stone six. And then right here, this is the platform that we were raising up earlier before we fast traveled. We could have actually climbed down this ladder and got that silver scarab earlier, but I just find it to be easier grabbing it while coming around the other way. Just going to hop down here and run along this ledge. Try not to get in the scarlet rot so that we can save some of our FP. You can pick up some of those Aeonian butterflies if you want. We're going to run down here, we're going to light this grace, and then we're going to turn back around. We have to grab ourselves a warrior's cookbook. I just want to light this grace so that we can fast travel to it after we beat the boss. Just makes things a little easier. And that's what life's about, right? Making things easy. Work smart, not hard. Isn't that what they say? Something like that. There we get the Nomadics Warrior cookbook 22 now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast travel to the round table hold really fast to level up our weapon so I'll see everybody over there come over to the blacksmith really fast well I took you no man today out you're up Okay, now we want to be back at the Lake of Rot shoreside. Let's go ahead and put our shield on and light our lantern. I'm going to use the preserving bolluses just because when we get to this boss fight, I like to be able to have my FP. So we're heading southwest. I'm keeping this stuff on. That is helping us with the Scarlet Rot. At least for now. Be careful of the Basilisks. They're going to be hopping out of the Scarlet Rot. And then now we're heading east. Just kind of follow the platforms. We're going to be fighting a dragon kin warrior. Fun times, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Take a ballus. Summon in our mimic tier. I always try to make sure that I summon in my mimic tier. Unless I want him to use this seal with just the sword and shield or else he's just going to spam spells and not hit our boss so do keep that in mind i probably should have said that before
And he's dead. Look how easy that was. Our mimic tier is no joke. So for killing the dragonkin warrior, we get a dragon scale blade. Let's go ahead and grab these items real fast. Then we're gonna heal, jump up on this platform, and now we're going to fast travel to the Grand Cloister. I'll see everybody over there. Let's put our shield back on real fast. We're going to be using our mimic here soon. Go ahead and light this summoning pool. And then we're going to come over here, jump across, and then come over here, jump across. Got to make sure that you get every single goodie. Get a golden rune tin. Pop right down here. Grab a golden centipede. And then down there we can see some pests. These things are, oh my goodness. They can be difficult, especially when they outnumber you. They're fast and they have these like needles that they shoot out at you. Take this guy out. Look at that. Oh my goodness, the damage. The damage he does. It's amazing. I love it. That's why I absolutely love the Mimic Tears. And if you're not using the Mimic, mimic Tears, do yourself a favor and use the Mimic Tears. You won't regret it. Oh my goodness. I am just getting messed up here. Don't die. That would have been death if I didn't heal myself. Okay, over here, we are going to be fighting an Erd Tree Avatar or Guardian. One of the two. I forget what it's called. It's one of those guys. You know, the fun guys. We're going to hop up on this. Put on our stuff. I mean, honestly, your Mimic tier might even be able to solo this guy. Just an absolute beefcake, man. There we go. Get ourselves a golden seed for killing that enemy. And now we're going to continue forward. And once we get through killing all these pests, we're going to go back to the grace. We're going to fast travel back to the grace and put on our actual armor so that we're not running around with Nah, I don't want to say less than par, but not as beefy of armor. These guys are just, whew, they're dangerous, man. They're dangerous and you got to be careful. They can kill you so easily. 
And when the game first came out, they would not allow you to summon in your spirit ashes right here. So you had to be good. And especially if you aggroed every single one of these pests all at the same time. Oh, it was a nightmare. Get some fan daggers, smithing stone five. Also, our mimic tier disappeared because all the enemies are dead. And the reason we killed all those pests, by the way, is because if we ran straight for this chest, they definitely would have killed us. They're that powerful. Scorpion Stinger is a cool dagger. It's got rot on it, so you can do some Scarlet Rot buildup. For now, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the Grand Cloister Grace. I'll see everybody over there. All right, let's go ahead and start putting our armor on. I have the full Banished Knight set. That's what we're going to continue wearing for now. Along with putting on our Green Turtle Talisman and our Radagon Scar Seal. Now we're going to run over here, jump across, hop down. I want to make sure that, yes, keep those guys patrolling a little further because it's going to make running to the casket a little easier. We just want to make a straight run for it. So just wait a moment, wait for them to pass so that you don't catch their aggro. Okay, I think that's far enough. We can hop down. And then we can come this way. Let them do their thing while we do our thing. And then right here, we're going to go in this casket or coffin. Man, tell me that's not terrifying. Just getting in a coffin and dropping straight down. That's a new spin on Splash Mountain, am I right? Let's go ahead and take off our preserving bolluses. We're not going to need it. And for this boss fight, I do keep my seal on because our mimic tier can use it to put Scarlet Rot on this boss, which is susceptible to Scarlet Rot. So keep that in mind. Now, before we summon in our Mimic tier, this boss is going to shoot a laser at us. There we go. Just dodge it. Summon in your Mimic tier. And then I like to do this. Oh, good thing I had my shield on. Be very careful. He's going to do it again. 
We want to try to get our Mimic tier to take aggro if we can. If not, it's okay. He's spewing out Scarlet Rot too. So that's good. Now it's rotted. Don't be grabbed by that. That is bad, bad news. Okay, now it's going to send down a ton of meteors. Be very careful. Because they're very erratic. They just go everywhere. I don't know why I just ran into that. That was on me, everybody. And it's dead. Pretty easy. So for killing that enemy, which is Estella, the natural born, we're going to get the remembrance of the natural born. Now we want to head north over here to the grace. And if you can see off in the distance, there's like a barrier or a fog wall with a symbol on it. We can't go through there just yet. But remember that key? that Ronnie gave us, we're going to be using that in just a moment. Light this grace. And then we're going to go to our map, hit R3, and we're going to come over to the Rhea Lucaria Grand Library. Okay, over here is a chest just behind Renala. You can go ahead and pick up the dark moon ring. We're going to need that to break that seal. So whenever we go back, that seal will be gone and we can go through the fog wall. So I'll see everybody over at Estelle, natural born of the void grace. Okay, now that the seal is gone, we're going to run straight up here. Now the area that we're going to, we are not going to be exploring anytime soon. There are a ton of dragons over here. And I just feel like maybe towards the end of the game, not maybe, but actually more towards the end of the game, we're going to come back here and we're going to kill all the dragons and then we'll be able to use their hearts to get ourselves some dragon uh, spells and stuff like that. So I'm going to save that for the end of the game. For now, we're just going to actually run over here, grab a grace. And we're going to be going up to that church because we're going to be finishing up Ronnie's quest line. Let's hop on our trusty horse torrent. Even though I don't think it's actually a horse, but that's what I'm going with. Be very careful. There is going to be a dragon that's going to spawn in front of us. This is the dragon that we fought over by Ronnie's Rise. Just keep running. We're going to come over here to the grace. We're going to light it. And then we're going to sit at it to despawn that dragon. Now, if we come over here, we'll see that there's a hole that we can go down. I like to drop off right here. There's been a couple times that I've dropped off over here and just fell to my death. It was quite amazing. One of my finer moments, if I must say. Now we're just going to keep following this tunnel until we see Ronnie. Let's go ahead and talk to her.
So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. And now we're going to get everybody's favorite sword, the Dark Moon Great Sword. Pretty cool sword. It's obviously a great sword, but it also inflicts frostbite. It's more of like a strength slash intelligence build sword. Pretty cool sword. If you're into that kind of build, go ahead and put it on. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the round table hold and end the video. I'll see everybody over there. All righty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.